Hi everyone, it's Carmen and I am here with a new product announcement. So the mini skein sets that I talked about in my latest podcast episode, they are going live in my shop today. So I am going to be uh, listing these in the shop, I think at around 6 p.m. Um, European time, so CET. I have prepared nine mini skein sets um, with eight skeins each because I still had a lot of stock uh, of my hand dye yarns. I still have a lot of stock looking at it right there. Um, yeah, but it's either a lot in one color or, you know, a color that I don't think you will like. Uh, so, um, and I still want to knit sweater. So I'm just saving a couple skeins, 30 skeins or so, uh, for myself. Um, but I realized I wasn't going to knit with all of it. So I pulled, um, so there's eight skeins in here. Yeah, so I pulled eight of the skeins from my stash and I wound those into mini skeins. And one skein is 100 grams, uh, but I cannot divide that equally in 10 gram minis. So I wound up with nine 10 gram minis. And then the 10th mini was just like seven, eight grams. So, so I kept those for myself as well. <laughs> Uh, so I have this tub of mini skein sets <laughs> and so let me go through the colors because the colors are not um, exactly the same for each set. Um, so each set will have a red. This is the, um, so most of the skeins are suitable for knitting socks. Um, the red and the green one that you'll find in each set, although in some sets the green is a little bit more light. So the red and green are BFL nylon. That's the only yarn that I had in my um, stock that contains nylon and it's all non-superwash. Uh, so that's BFL nylon. And if you see it up close, uh, you can see that it has a really, it has a really high twist. You can see better here. So that makes for better socks as well. And then I have some skeins in my wool Rami silk and that's the one that looks a bit shiny and in this set there's a second one of that and I didn't have enough of this salmon colored one so in some sets there is a salmon colored Corydale sock um, so and it just it has a really high twist as well I haven't knit with the Corydale sock yet myself so I'm really curious to see um, but um, it feels really, really nice. And then um, the other skeins are, let's just open one of them up. So we have the BFL nylon, we have the wool Rami, and then we have three 100% merino skeins, and these are sport weight so these will be a little bit thicker and these are in a lovely salmon and a light pink and then a caramel color and I loved these a lot and um, so although these are sport weight you could still use them for socks uh, just don't use them for toes or heels because they don't have any nylon in them and um, the twist is not high enough so that it will be durable. So these are just 100% merino. They are not super wash. You can use them on the cuffs of socks. You can use them just in the foot part or in the leg part. Um, or you can use them in the sweater. Uh, these would make really great uh, just accent colors for your yoke. Um, I've used this in a sweater myself and it is just super buttery soft. So these these are really good. Uh, and then the eighth one is a little um, pink skein of some thick and thin yarn. And can I show you an actual ball of this? Yes. 
because it's easier to see in a ball. See, there's a really thin spot and then a really thick spot. Um, and this one also, there was a bit of a dye pod accident and I don't really know what caused it, but there are just tiny crystals on here. They look like sugar crystals. Or they look like sugar. Can you see that? Just there and here. So it looks like they have some a bit of snow on them. <laughs> and that was not planned. So um so these games they were not fit for knitting uh except maybe hats and then kind of like snow frosted detail that could be very cute but I thought to put a little bit in here so this is also 10 grams um, and you could use it as a ribbon for gift wrapping which will be very very cute um, so you can use it for gift wrapping you can use it for weaving you can use it for an etching on something um, just be mindful that there are some crystallized spots in there so some might be very scratchy. Um, yeah, so seven out of the eight skeins can be used for knitting socks. And I have tied them together with this piece of fabric that I've also plant dyed. So all of these are naturally dyed. Not all of them are plant dyed because some of them are dyed with cochineal, which is a tiny beetle. So Beetles are not plants, so, but they're still naturally dyed. And, yeah, <laughs> so the cochineal beetle might seem a little scary, but they're also used in uh, lipstick coloring. Uh, they are used in some, like, desserts, foods. It just gives a pink coloring, and it's all natural, and it doesn't give a weird taste or anything, so. Um, and so I, from the... 10th mini skeins so the ones that were a little bit smaller i have started a pair of scrappy socks and yes i am knitting them two at a time and yes this is my first time knitting two at a time and yes i will be doing a tutorial video on that in the future <laughs> So I don't know yet when and I don't know yet if it will be on my YouTube channel right here or on my Patreon page. So, but at least you know. So um, these are some scrappy socks that I am knitting from the mini skeins and they look really, really Christmassy to me. I think it's just because of the red and green. Um, yeah, and I am using my wrapping wrapping in ends method. So I thought it would be fun to sell this mini skein set with a scrappy sock pattern. So this is my scrappy socks pattern and you get the pattern and it includes um, the photo tutorial uh, on how to wrap in ends. The video is also up here on my YouTube channel, so it will be extra easy if you follow that. And so I'll be packaging it in these boxes. I still had these boxes from a long while ago. Um, because if I ship the mini skeins like this, um, uh, it will cost you a lot more in shipping. So I want to send them flat and yeah, there they go. So they will fit nicely into the box. And I'll probably cozy them up a little bit more with like pretty tissue paper and stuff. Um, but yeah, you'll get the mini skein set and the pattern. I don't know the price yet because I still have to think about that. <laughs> it's arguably the most difficult thing about selling a new product. Um, but yeah, you will find those in my shop tonight. Um, I will I will post a little community post on here once they're actually live, and I will be sending out a newsletter. Um, so keep your eye out for those. Uh, yeah, but, and I did not actually mean to sell a new product on Black Friday because I don't even know if you'll be able to find my shop 
through all of the sales and discount craze that is happening. But um, yeah, I hope you will. So there will only be nine sets available and you can knit a matching pair of socks with me. <laughs> or you can throw in a bunch of other minis that you have or you can use them in a sweater. I think it will be so much fun. And yeah, I would love to send these minis out into the world. So keep your eye out on my shop. I will post all of the links for the shop and my newsletter uh, down below. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!